<laughs> Partnership with Skybound. Thought I would be in bed by now, but I'm not. Let's play more oxen free. Oxen free, ali ali oxen free. Mm. It's not as fun as saying oxen free as it is when I play Hato for boyfriend and I'm like, hey, Hato for boyfriend. Oxen free doesn't roll off the tongue in the same way. Oxen free. Yeah, no, no. Children have better things to say than oxen free nowadays. So this might be coming out of nowhere for you, but do you feel at all like we've maybe kind of done this before? Hell like, yeah. Literally what we're doing right now? Yeah, I don't know. It's I've had like goose pimples since we got off the boat and everything the ghosts have said and it's almost like I can like I know what you're going to say before you say it. Except really? We didn't do this part. What am I thinking right now? Um I, I don't know. This part feels like new or something. Last time we were here with Noni. <sighs> All right. That's why I'm excited to play it. Uh, which way are we going? The main street, I think, right? <clears throat> Man, this music is beautiful. Um, I think Ren could have been higher. I think it's not just it's not just the voice actor's problem. It's also the dialogue. Like he just sounds like completely normal, like in every way, and the things that he's saying are normal too. I feel like he, uh, he must be used to like smoking a lot and eating a lot. I don't know, because it's like, um, which is which is not impossible uh, you know there's some people that are like can really so the parks and facilities building is just on the way here it's not far yep that makes sense uh... yeah we're getting there maybe I should have said I hope your plan works that might have it might have sparked more of a conversation I guess that's why I should look for something that will spark an interesting conversation, you know, or, or d a, a debate or something. That's Alex. That's Clarissa. What? How'd she get up there? Clarissa? What are you doing? Clarissa, how? How are you? How are you not dead right now? Like swan dive out of a window, empty pool dive, dead. Holy. Jesus Christ, Alex! What is happening? Ah, this is what it, I looked like when, when that stuff happened. Clarissa, can you hear me? Okay, just what do you guys want? This isn't. Uh, this is just really lost its charm, I have to say. Ugh, can you like? I mean, you helped me before, right? Can you help her? Is there whatever you did? Can you do it again? Ugh, I don't even want to look at her. It's so. I can. I'll try, okay, I'll try. Marissa, how are you, uh, doing, honey? On the beach, the, the reality. You think you can control me? I'm, I'm trying to help you. This is, this is... Help me. Help me. How will that help me? I was looking forward to seeing you. Yes, I used to dream about something like this. It, it's helped the others, Ren and Nona. They've gone through the same... Gone through what? Their children have gone through nothing. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Is she... okay, or... Um, that's a complicated question. Clarissa, are you alright? <sighs> Steady. Just... Take it easy. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Are you sure? Because you took quite a little tumble. Do you remember anything that happened? I remember waiting in Fort Milner, 
and seeing you? Nothing else. How did I get here? You don't know how you got up there? You remember that part at least, right? Being up on the thing? Clarissa, you were dead a minute ago. Do you, do you realize that? We saw your body, no joke. Okay, well, I'm alive now, so hallelujah. You really don't remember anything? No, I remember something. I remember you, with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Are you... are you controlling this? It's, uh, my turn, if that's what you mean. And you, of all people, should know what my question is gonna be, because I'm not gonna waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new stepbrother are... Look, when we went into the cave, we found a thing, and I used the radio to somehow tune it in, and I think it jump-started everything. I see. I'm sorry, okay? I'm... I'm sorry. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. Don't listen to her, okay? She's pissed at the world, and she likes to take it out on me, and, and none of what's happening makes any sense anyway. I'm not. It's not no, a... No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking forehead. And the giant, lit up, Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. Like, Clarissa, you... just shut up! Look around! We're not at high school where anyone gives a crap about your pet miseries! Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last... God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa! Uh, she is... uh, you are completely insane! It's like all those after-school specials that warn you about inhuman monsters were all secretly talking about you! Yes, the person who didn't kill her own brother is the monster in this picture, of course. Okay, I'm not listening to this anymore. I... I can't even believe we're talking about this right now. She's... Stop it. Right now, I mean it. Ren, it was awful, all right? It's still awful, and I... You don't have to convince me of anything, Alex, believe me. Now we're gonna break into that office, we're gonna find the damn key, and we're gonna go home. No. No? What do you... All the Alex in free. Ooh, boy. I got a massive basket of deja vu dumped on my head just now. That's you ever like get really that? makes my spine take a little I haven't had one of those that. since I saw those two brown dogs. Oh, constantly. I'm like the empress of deja vu. It's kind of been my... It's kind of been like the theme of the whole night, really. I would have thought ghosts would be the theme, but okay, I'll roll with it. All right, the office is like right there, so let's do it. Uh, this is the office? Yeah, it's okay, well, the wrong we came building. here for the key or whatever it's going to end up being that lets us into the gate. So, Alex, let's You're get the in one. the office. You pointed to the antique shop. Oh, whatever. Okay, let's do this. Yep, this isn't budging. All right, we're kicking this baby in, like a a western or something. Um, It'll be fun. Uh, wait. What about like the alarms? <laughs> you didn't even bother. I just wish I could remember that, what else she said. Like, like, where they even keep the keys, or like where they stored the mail and stuff. Oh, the key better be here. Hey, know what kind of jet that is? I think it's a banshee. Used a lot in the Korean War. Actually, it... Oh, wait. <laughs> it's a banshee. Now, that's funny, right? We're dealing with ghosts and a banshee's painted on the ceiling. Right? It's like... I mean, it's not hilarious or whatever, but it's, uh... Comical. Um, maybe that went over my head, but... Because a banshee's a spirit. Come on, Alex, you know this. I mean, anybody who reads comic books knows this. Oh, just forget it. Why are you facing the wrong way? Okay. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it, it's like there's way more stations on the dial. It says that, here's another one. It says they're wall radios? Wave-assisted lock. Huh, I guess it says it's... 
that frequency thing, where each frequency is like a key to open doors around here, they used them like identification tags, I think. It must open the gate, too. Uh, okay. Cool. Great. Oh, cool. Check this out. Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Um, maybe we shouldn't mess with it then. No, no, no. We should definitely mess. I mean, here, look. It's a letter. We can head back. I'm just gonna... Here, this is... What? No, no. Whom it should concern. Classic opening. This island and its history is a lie. Wow, firing on all cylinders right at the start. What? What could that mean? I've been compelled by both forces outside my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now, I feel any further inaction... Many truths? Shh. Inside, you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station, 140.1, and used it to relay clues to nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons, and the notes within, and discover the true chronicle of the island. Oh, God, chores. I don't care if the soldiers secretly smoked opium or got the village wives pregnant. I just want to get out of here. Okay, well, that's your opinion. Let me finish this here. To whosoever finds the material, know that I am discomfited for keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve. But also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time. And truly, for the interest of time itself. Oh, <laughs> I've had, oh, I've seriously had like dreams about this. Finding a secret, digging it up, it turning out to be a mechanical unicorn. Okay, hold up, please. We got the key. It's this new radio. That's the main thing. Oh my god, this is like, have you done this before? What is, what is even happening right now? Um, a few times, but it's just like riding a bike, you know? You do it twice on grass, you're a pro. Alpha, November, Tango, India, Quebec, Uniform, Echo. Eventually. Everything becomes a Alpha November a, um, Tango G India R Quebec antique. Uniform Echo eventually. Everything becomes an antique eventually. That means we should go to the antique store? Oh my god. This is like have you done this before? What is... what is even happening right now? Yeah, I... I... Whoa. Much improved. Oh. Wow. Can't you just... Can't you stop this, please? Can't you just let us leave? If, if we could, could stop, stop, we, we would. would. Works. Alex, what? What is? Many times, times must, must we say you say, say you can, can not, not get, get out. 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 All right, that's in progress. Two, two, to radio as much as. as Why won't it help? Wait, but but why won't what we're doing help? 
Why? There is, is there is no why. why. You you opened the gate. The gate. gate. And, and sang. This can. You should be very impressed. I did not pass out during that. <laughs> I am, Ren. I am. <laughs> Okay, maybe there's a second. I know that 92.3 will probably. Right, 102.3. Maybe there's a second radio station that has the truth. Is it gonna be the same here? It was sunk by the Japanese sub chaser Tokusata, some 25 miles off the coast of Washington. This is just the same. And remains to this day the only submarine casualty in American waters. 85 officers, as well as 12 army passengers, were lost. The propeller was recovered in 1962 and in 1965 erected as a monument to the heroism of the brave men and women who tragically perished. Where is it? Named after the Hawaiian. Can't hear it too well. That's he, Cray. So I think we should go to the antique shop. Maybe use the radio there. Okay, yeah, I don't think there's any secret secret history that we can listen to. It would be an interesting idea if they had thought of that, but I don't think I don't think there is. Okay, everything becomes an antique eventually. So but that being said, I'm not finding anything. Intercept message by Lighthouse. Brother's name also mentioned. Comes a Alpha November Tango India Quebec. Everything comes in a seek eventually. What was that? Oh, I think I just accidentally opened that. That's all that was. I don't know if there's something there or not, but I can't seem to figure out if there is. Guess we'll just get going.
<laughs> Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees. The sun's out, you know? And I thought you said you were going to go swimming anyway. You bring a jacket, but you don't bring a swimsuit. It's cold, that's why. The sun is kinda out, but when you're in the shade, it drops to like 50. No, it doesn't. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Well. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Are you... Are you one of those... One of, one of them... Are you one of the ghosts? <laughs> Am I what? I feel like this is the start of a Christmas carol. Is this because you keep having those dreams? Because I had a crazy dream about... Melanie Pfizer? Oh, come on! No, 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 no! Just listen to me! You will drown. Not here, but at Horn Lake. Back at home. You seem really confident. She seems confident. I'm a little nervous. I would be. Relax, Alex. I'm gonna teach you how to swim at the pool in the park. Don't worry about it. What? How? Why am I here? What? You don't want to hang out at the beach? There's stuff in town, but it's all boring knick-knack shops. No, I mean in this time period. Oh, geez. You're hitting the existential nostalgia trip already? I get it, Alex. I would have been happier in the 70s. The 70s. Last time like I just sort of went with time. it. This time I'm gonna like fight them, Today fight the memory. Today turned a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. Clarissa, doesn't this? Don't you remember? We're all on the island. Nona's there. I love Nona like a three-legged puppy, but she would shrivel up and die in the sun. Oh yeah. Yeah, she's better off at home. Trust me. We're going to the beach. Next time I'll try going the opposite direction. Maybe. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I, feel I guess like it would just be like this. I like just wouldn't really go anywhere. What's been going on? How's classes? How's... What's his face? Mr. Collins' English. Uh, it's been... I, I don't know. It's been... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh god, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> okay, I guess. So... That's someone has to come with. Uh, <laughs> Are you, like, faking it? Or pretending or something? Pretending? Uh, no, I mean... I meant when I said that this is, this is a great day. I'm having a good time. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close and like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could like, continue to do things together. It doesn't matter, Clarissa, do what you want. No, it does matter, it does matter. I want you to feel good about the situation, you know? I. I want this to be good. Oh, this is kind of... My sister came out a few weeks ago. She was trying to do the Radio Rocks thing or whatever, and she said she thought she heard you on the station. Do you know what she that could have been? probably did. Or was she... Did she just mishear? She heard me? What was I, like, saying? She told me you were saying... Ah, oh, what was it? It was something like, this is a test of the Beach Cave emergency system? It was like... Hey, if you're out there, we got stranded on Edwards Island. And then Whoa. you said, you were saying something like, Hey, Alex, can you hear me? You were like talking to yourself. So like, did Carly let you sub on the school radio show or something? Like a, as a joke? Okay, so wait, if she heard it now, then that means I can send messages back, sort of? Uh... Whoa. Well, I mean, the only surprise here is I thought radios didn't work really once you passed the breakwater. Anyways, I just thought it was... I just saw you and remembered, so... But, um... Michael, uh... He loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but... He talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and... Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? Thanks for... Uh, telling me. Yeah, of course. I had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to? Six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. So apparently you love me. Is that right? 
Well, if I don't, I don't know why I got you that skateboard for your birthday. You skate? Not yet. Yeah, and the no helmet part kind of sends a message, right? I'm not <laughs> one for subtlety. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um, nah, I'm good. Uh, yeah, get me a drink too? Sure. I'll be back. Okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? Things are bad, actually. Mom and Dad aren't great, and I'm like a hair trigger away from spinning off this planet. And hey, hey, look. First of all, Mom and Dad are Mom and Dad. They fight a lot, but they're whatever. Everything always blows over. It's gonna be fine. You're too young. We're too young to worry about marital discord. It's not gonna be fine. It's not gonna be fine. I, I know how this goes. I have insider information, let's just call it, okay? Look, just because Janie's parents got a divorce and made poker nights super uncomfortable doesn't mean ours have to too, all right? And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so, but I owe you. Yeah, no problem. Just don't get all smoochy smooch while I'm in the general vicinity. <laughs> because that would ever happen. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Oh, God, do what you want, man. Don't ask me for advice. <laughs> okay, I'm taking that as endorsement, just so you know. You know, I never noticed. That's a good-looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. <sighs> you know what, Bucko? I need it more than you. <laughs> Bucko? You haven't called me that in years. You don't know the half of it. Hey, kid. What the hell are you doing? Are you alright? You've just been shuffling your feet back and forth and talking to yourself like you're having a brain thing. Are you doing yes. okay? I'm like seriously concerned here. Uh, didn't you notice I've been like gone for the past whoever knows? I was just like leapfrogged back in time. What are you talking about? You've genuinely, honest to God, been here the whole time. You never left. You never went anywhere. That's you did the, the weird invalid thing. But other than that... Wait, have I? You didn't see me uh, disappear for ten minutes or something? Not especially, no. Can you maybe just tell me what happened? Like, just... What did you see? What went on? Describe it for me. Clarissa was there too. It wasn't just me. It was a day I can remember, actually, when Michael and I spent a random Saturday on the beach here. It was just unbelievable to see him again. <sighs> wow. That's... Yeah, I don't even, like, is this a good thing? I don't even know what this means. I'm like halfway between terror and, and awe right now. Like, what is this? It just sucks that he's not, that he's not here, I guess. Uh, that's, that's all. Yeah, let's just meet up with the others, get out of here. Oh, there's a thing here. I didn't, how did I not notice that earlier? Well, 5.1 anomaly. bucks you owe me I'm like 50 bucks behind give me a break <laughs> how is that my fault uh you bet on whether or not we'd even make it back 
Yeah, but not for money. For dinner. Dinner? Oh shit. Yeah, but like a fancy dinner. Steaks. Steaks? It doesn't matter what happened. We got a a new radio. But we can open the gate? We can open the gate, I think. Ah, uh, good. How have you been? Any uh terror? My terror has been keeping it kind of a mild simmer, so uh it's a win. We've been all right. But if the radio's the thing. Wait, where's Clarissa? We can't leave yet without her. Have you seen her or heard from her? Well, kind of. Yeah, should we maybe look for her, possibly? Even if the boat plan works, we shouldn't leave her here. Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? That's so, are right. you gonna try the gate thing, or...? If we're still gonna go to the house, let's just do it. Try the radio, radio. Alex. For the ships coming home, turn on the Lima, India, L -I -G Gulf, I G Hotel, K-O. For the way. ships coming home, turn on the Lima, L India, Turn on the light, okay. Cool. Oh, wow. Neat. <sighs> Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Just think happy thoughts. Yeah, happy thoughts. So Jonah is 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 gonna steal away um it's gonna steal away Noni from our uh, Ren. Possibly. It should be interesting. It's gonna be different. Maybe. But um Jesus, we should stop house. here. So, main menu. Confirm. Yeah. Time to get to bed. Save your clip.